Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get Mac OS Sonoma on a 2010 MacBook Pro. Specifically, this is a 17 inch model with the upgraded Core i7, 8 gigs of RAM, and I have a 500 gigabyte solid state drive here. So what you're going to need is obviously the computer, you're going to need an internet connection, and you're going to need some sort of external disk. It can be a USB drive, it can be a hard drive like this. Whatever it is, you just need something to install Mac OS on. So you're gonna go ahead and plug that in and set that to the side for now. So let me show you guys what happens here. If we use Safari and we go to the Open Core Patcher website, you're gonna see that they really bury it in here. But once you get to the GitHub for downloading it, it's not gonna load. It's just gonna keep spinning. So what you wanna do is download Google Chrome or maybe another browser works, but I know Google Chrome works. So we'll copy, and, we'll copy this um, GitHub link and we'll paste that into a Google Chrome window. And that's gonna allow us to download Open Core Legacy Patcher. You'll just scroll down to the bottom and you're gonna click this one, the Open Core Patcher GUI app.zip. And that's gonna download down here. Once it's finished downloading, you will open it. Once it opens, you'll be met with this window. And what we want is the open core patcher. So we'll move that to the desktop and then we will open it. And we can get rid of Google Chrome. We don't need that anymore. All right, now that we're here, we're gonna click build and install open core. Click install to disk. And you're gonna select your main drive. So for me, it's gonna be disk zero, which is my SSD. Then you're gonna click the EFI partition and it's gonna ask for your password and then it's gonna install. Now, this part's important. So you need to reboot, hold option key and then select open core slash boot EFI. So that's what we're gonna do. We'll click reboot, restart and then we'll hold down the option key. So holding the option key, we are met with these choices here. This is the one we want, EFI boot, and then you'll click Macintosh HD. Once you're booted, you'll log in, and then you're gonna open the open core patcher once again. This time, we're going to create macOS installer. And for me, I'm going to download the macOS installer because I don't have it on this computer. And it's going to show you the different versions of macOS that you can use. Maybe try that again. Okay. Now it worked, I'm not sure what the problem was before. So you can do Big Sur, Monterey, Ventura, or Sonoma. I'm gonna do Sonoma and see how it works on this 2010 17 inch. So you'll click download and then it's gonna download that 12.9 gigabyte macOS Sonoma install. So this will take a while, once it's finished, we'll be back. Okay, the Sonoma download has finished and we are met with this. So we're gonna type in our password and click enter. And then we're gonna let it do its thing here. And I'm not sure how long this will take, but this probably depends on how fast your computer is. So once this finishes, we will proceed to the next step. Once that finishes, you'll be met with this screen. So we're gonna go ahead and click yes. And, and now it's gonna search for available disks to install it on. So we're gonna select our macOS Sonoma download and then we're gonna click our external disk, which for me is a 320 gigabyte hard drive. And 
Yes, we want to erase it. So don't use this if it's something important. And it's going to erase that drive. And then what it's going to do is create a macOS Sonoma installer on that disk. Once it finishes, we'll be back. During the process, if you see this window come up, you're going to click Don't Use. And then you'll just let the computer continue to create the installer. All right, once that finishes, you may see a pop-up window that's asking you if you want to install OpenCore. You're going to say no because we already did that. That's where we held down the Option key and selected EFI Boot. So now we have the installer ready to go. So we're going to restart the computer, hold down the Option key, and then we'll select the Sonoma installer. Now with your installer disk plugged in, you're going to press the power button and hold down the Option key. Now we're going to click EFI Boot. And then you're going to click Install macOS Sonoma. And once you make it here, you're going to click on the Install macOS Sonoma, click Continue, click Continue again. Then you'll click Agree and Agree. Then you'll select your internal drive. So for me, it's that 500 gigabyte drive. And you'll click continue and you'll let the computer do its thing as it installs macOS. And the installation is complete. Let's go ahead and log in. And we'll go through the setup screens here for macOS Sonoma. And here we are at the macOS Sonoma home screen. So now we're going to want to open OpenCore Patcher again. And we're going to check for any patch updates that this machine might need in order to operate correctly. So we'll do the post install root patch. And it looks like we're good to go. So everything is installed as it should. Let's go ahead and check about this Mac. And you can see the specs there. This is a 2010 17 inch MacBook Pro. And it's got the high resolution anti-glare display, which looks absolutely amazing. All right, that's been it for this video. If you have any questions, leave me a comment down below and I'll do my best to help you out. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in one of my future videos.